Luxury. We've been programmed. Told how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to feel. It's supposed to act. But we're done listening. Let's torch this tired act. Watch it burn. From the ashes comes freedom. Freedom from trends, from false influence, and empty symbols. At Gen Air, we answer only to progress. And now, we rise anew. Awoken. Defiant. Limitless. Genere. Bound by nothing. Okay, so let's have a look at this commercial. It just shows so clearly the agenda that the social manipulators are trying to push. We open here on this car approaching this mansion down this road. You notice that this, there's snow everywhere and that the colors are very blunt. So this is showing the old way that needs to be gotten rid of. Look how old fashioned everything is. The, the colors are bland, black and white. They're downplaying this for this communist agenda. So this is really showing capitalism this car pulling up to this to a mansion which is very ornate and it's a, a capitalist scene if you will and so this is pushing against it so as we draw up you notice everything is old-fashioned as i said and Look. you see that this is a high heel shoe which represents the feminine power over the masculinity so she gets out of the car, and straight away after that we see the feminized male. Straight after that symbolism. And inside this mansion, you must have seen in this truth movement the amount of times that they have pointed against, they've exposed the elite that need to be overthrown in this revolution. And that's exactly what this is showing here told how it's supposed to look. You hear the narration is constantly reminding us of the old way of things, that this old way, this old society needs to be overthrown into this new order. It's supposed to feel. We've been, we've been programmed into this society that needs to be gotten rid of, that needs to be overthrown. And you, you notice again the colors, they use these colors as a form of programming. They're using bland black and white colors to represent the old system, the old moral compass, the old religion, which is Christianity in the West. And you see, you constantly see this contrast between this elite party here in this house. And I'm telling you, the truth movement has been set up to expose the elite on purpose in order to generate a grassroots revolution. Supposed to act. So you see at this table, it, again, it's, it's talking about this old structure is so bland and boring. And the parallel of what this is representing is that Last Supper. It seems like it's, we've seen it before, this Last Supper, before the beast comes out of the pit, like an inversion of the Last Supper. And it seems to be kind of what they're representing here, this last moments of the old world order. And, and you see, then we draw in on this Antichrist Jezebel. She's looking at herself in the in the phone. She's about self-indulgence. But we're done listening. And then we get this breaking out of the pit. 
you notice in maybe like in the basement of this house that you start to get these weird twisted upside down figures remember the sabbataeans their religion their cult was all about turning everything upside down and and that's what we're seeing here is that the beginning of this antichrist luciferian new age false religion of jezebel of turning everything upside down everything that we once knew like the prostitutes of um, artemis the cult of diana you know, over-sexualizing women and masculinizing women as opposed to what it was before where you had like these older ladies but they're portrayed as very undesirable. This whole, th this whole scene here, I mean, you can't deny that this is just in your face trying to, to make you despise what you see here. Let's torch this tired act. Let's torch this tired act. So we start this whole sequence of a revolution, and this is key, this is key to understand here, is why do you think that they are showing the crown being set alight into flames? Because this ties in to this grassroots revolution, and it ties in to the, what I've termed Operation Guy Fawkes. Now think back to Guy Fawkes and, you know, the fact he was a Jesuit and that he was trying to burn down the Houses of Parliament. And it was at the time when King James was working on the King James Bible. So this is representing that burning down of Protestant, the Protestant West and the overthrowing of authority and how many times have we seen in the truth movement in the mainstream truth movement that they talk about bringing down the monarchy and, and bringing down authority so i really think that this is what this is showing here the, the destruction of protestant christian west watch it burn uh, watch it burn and the, the things he's saying look at these demonic figures coming out of the pit the the uh, the bottomless pit with the smoke in the background and these this fire is his teeth and through this chaos from the ashes look at that comes freedom from the ashes from the ashes comes, comes freedom, freedom he so from the ashes of the old world comes the new world and this so you know false freedom this false peace and look at the colors look at the colors they're using to inspire your you know passion red the color of passion as opposed to what it was before when we had black and white and horrible mundane bland colors and now we've got the pit opening and we've got these vibrant red colors coming out. So this is, this is trying to brainwash you into wanting this communist revolution and wanting this new age of the Antichrist and this uh, hypersexualization. Now look, now we, now we go to a shot of the sheep, again in black and white. These sheep, is, so it basically is telling you that if you don't want to go along with this depravity that you are a sheep freedom from trends and that you all you want is the old bland program system which we've all we're all so bored with and so you know you're called a sheep because you don't want the antichrist lucifer and new age now of course the sheep is also representing christianity and the black and white color scheme is uh, attached to conservative so you can see that they are showing conservative christians the sheep the christians as bland and we need to get we need we need to move on from that and, empty and the the pearls of wisdom of the gnostic new age of antichrist of the enlightenment see the pearls also represent wisdom so but it's false it's false wisdom it's not true wisdom of the bible this is the false Luciferian religion. And he's saying over it about progress. You know, to them, this is progression. This is what the progressive narrative is pushing to open the doors of the bottomless pit. 
This is all to advertise an oven. And they're using the symbolism of the oven to show the opening of hell, hell's gates. Awoken. And so here we are, the golden age, the opening of the eye, the illumination. Limitless. Pushing the boundaries, pushing the limits. And that's what this is all about. The liberal ideology was all about pushing the boundaries. But we know that if we don't have boundaries, we don't have protection against the wolf. You know, the Bible, God himself loves us and gives us protection, gives us boundaries. The Bible says about the city with no walls. You know, it, and, and really what's coming here is the wolf. Uh, and if, you do, if you're not in the sheep pen, then you're gonna get savaged. The black sun is uh, a void. It's like a narcissist, if you will. Uh, it, it, it sucks energy, it, it feeds on the sheep. Just like the wolf, you know, what does the wolf represent? It feeds on the sheep. So this is what is coming here, this is a wolf. It's, it's telling you to drop all of your boundaries and it's advertising that the wolf is coming for the sheep, you know, and that it's gonna bring about this new age of Lucifer, hell, uh, with a J there, look, J with fire in it and smoke, like the anti-Jesus, the false Jesus, the antichrist, bound by nothing, the opening of the pit. So I really hope you can see that they're, they're pushing for this false revolution. And they're using both the, the far left and the far right as the two pillars and you know, using that to generate chaos, to generate a clash in order to bring down nations from within and then make them yearn for. All nations become one uh, under the Antichrist and, and that's biblical prophecy. But we do know that after that, we do have a hope that Jesus is coming and, and that all of this is leading towards the millennial reign of Jesus Christ, who will reign in justice and in truth. So there is a hope beyond all of this. But this, guys, is a, a really clear picture to, that we need to be so careful about what they're pushing in this world. And that, you know, we're not on the side of any of the pillars. We have our eyes fixed on Jesus Christ.